I am not sure why people who want to be economists even go to an expensive school and spend years studying something that's really pretty simple. If there is a bunch of something, the price goes down because there's so much of it that the seller needs to unload it. If there is not much of something, the price goes up because the buyer has a hard time getting it and will pay more just to be able to obtain the things that he or she needs or wants. And another rule is this. Most people in government, especially the ones who have only been in government and have never been in business or who have never signed the front of the paycheck, they just aren't real smart about how the economy works. They just aren't. And that's why when they tell you they're going to fix the economy, you should know that they're really about to mess it up. And recently, that's just what they've done. Now, what I'm about to tell you isn't so much about Democrats or Republicans or the left or the right. It's about the right and the wrong. And we've got some folks really getting it wrong when it comes to how much it's going to cost you to put gas in your car, heat your home this winter, and put groceries on your table and clothes on your family. For about a year, the government has been paying people to not work. The idea was that COVID and the government mandated shutdown, in fact, did cost a lot of people their jobs. Now, keep in mind, not a single government employee missed a paycheck. Even if they didn't have to show up for work, no one got laid off from the government and they felt bad that they were getting paid for doing nothing. So they figured they ought to pay others for doing nothing as well. <laughs> it made sense now when government ordered businesses to close and workers really did get laid off. But when the economy starting to come back again, the employees didn't come back. Some realized that with government benefits, there aren't any taxes or takeouts. And some people made as much or even more money not working than they did working so they got used to getting up at the crack of noon and watching Netflix all day. <laughs> and even though there are help wanted signs on every street in America, people just stayed home. And the government's brilliant idea to fix that, keep paying them for not working. Folks, I learned something from raising kids and training dogs. If you want a behavior to continue, reward the behavior. And if you want a behavior to stop, consequence it. If you punish people for working by taking out chunks of their check and taxes and social security obligations, but then you reward others with tax-free income for doing absolutely nothing, more and more people will take the doing nothing option. And remember that when there's a lot of stuff, it costs less, but when there's a lot of need but little supply, it costs more. There is a huge need for workers but a small supply because people are staying home. So labor costs more. And what does that do? It makes everything else cost more. And because Joe Biden turned off our pipelines and then punishes our homegrown energy industries and our transportation industries because he thinks climate change matters more than feeding your family or how much your gasoline costs, groceries being up between 10 and 20%, and having empty shelves in the stores where you shop, you gotta work really hard to be that dumb about turning a great economy into one where politicians brag about how much money they're borrowing from your grandkids, while at the same time, nobody can afford bacon and eggs or the gas to get to work. So when the politicians tell you they wanna fix the economy, you better vote for some different politicians because the best way to fix the economy is get the politicians out of it. Pay people to actually work instead of sitting home. The economy works when we let the farmers farm, let the builders bill, and we let you decide whose business ought to be supported based on what you decide to buy and how much you're willing to pay for it. So you see, you don't need a PhD in economics to understand that. Just some common sense and a government that gets the heck out of your way. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? 
So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.